Hi, my name is Chen and I work for Halo and today we're going to show you a little bit about what we are presenting at the Embedded World here in Nuremberg. Do you accelerate AI for the Embedded? So Halo in general of course is a semiconductor company. We have AI acceleration solutions and we have our VPU which is an SOC solution, a full solution for cameras of course with AI acceleration. So maybe let's show you a couple of our demos that we have here. Start with the interesting ones. So what we're showing here is a lot of demos with our partners. So this is the Halo 8 AI accelerators. What you can see here is uh, a demo with System Electronics. System Electronics is one of our partners. Uh, they create a board called Astrial Board. We work with them and EBV, which is one of our distributors. In this case, what we're showcasing here is a very nice drone. In this case, you can see that detection and face detection. Uh, it can do, of course, a lot more. It's, it's very high performance. It's very high performance, very low power consumption. And the main idea about drones, of course, is that you'd like the battery life to be as long as possible. So this is exactly what we're showing here. And as I mentioned, this solution with system electronics is industrial grade, very, very high performance, very, of course, price competitive. And, and, and one of the, the things we're most proud of uh, these days. That's is it the, this one, the Halo 15? So going and talking about Halo 15, and by the way, we have exactly the same solution also with our partners from System Electronics coming up. We have here two different partners showing different solutions, different form factors using the H15. So H15 is Halo system on chip solution for a, a full security and surveillance camera. We have here an NGCAM solution. Uh, it's smart form factor. In this case, we're showing here uh, a clip demo. Clip is really a detection demo that you do not have to train on specific uh, uh, classes. You can just write whatever you'd like to write. So for example, you see person here, and as you can see, the system recognizes a person, and then you add the glasses and download say, okay, now this is a man with glasses. So the main idea here about Clip is that you don't have to pre-train. Another thing that we have here, for example, is this is with another one of our partners. So the hardware is by Solid Run. They have a SOM solution with the H15 solution on board, and the software is being made by Deep Vision Consulting. Once again, all of this and most of our partners in Europe were working with EBV Electronic as our distributor. So you can really utilize the H15. And maybe let's show you a little bit, a couple of things about what H15 can do from an AI image enhancing point of view. So it's like upscaling? It's like upscaling, but we have several different features. The one which is the easiest to explain is the low light. So you can see here an image on the right side, it's with the denoising algorithm, and the left is without. So you can see this is, depends of course on the light level. So when we start, in a second it's gonna start with 100 lux, this is like full daylight, there really is no difference. And the lower the light gets, you can see that the image is of course harder, but once you use the algorithm, you can really run analytics, do OCR, uh, you're not going to get any shading of moving objects, and this is one of the advantages of using of H15. We have an HDR solution, so of course, if your image has too much light, you will not be able to recognize some of the objects. Once you use the HDR algorithm, you can do some detections, and the is going to work a lot better. And a couple of others such as auto zoom, so in this case, you'll be able to see the difference. On one hand, you will never be able to do license plate recognition. On the other, you can really read the license plate. It's a plate. bit like magic. Uh, how, does, uh, how, do you, how are you able to do this kind of technology? So, so at the end of the day, because Halo is an AI company, what we do is we really run the AI models on the H15, and we can do it before you run the analytics. So we have several AI models to enhance the picture. Hence, you're gonna get the input picture at a much higher quality, and then the analytics are gonna give you much better results. And as one last question. So sure. the big trend is not just AI, but also kind of like revolutionary low, low cost, low power consumption, like more optimized future of AI, right? Are you really at, at, into at, that? At the end of the day, Halo, our, our claim to fame is we really are concentrating on the edge and when we're talking about the edge we're talking about very low power consumption very high performance inferencing uh, because everything you can see here of course you're going to be able to see running 
on very large uh, uh, servers, very high power consumption, but the main idea when you have something at the edge, you want it to be as efficient as possible, and this is exactly uh, where Halo uh, and DeepSeek, Llama, and all this? Okay, so now we're talking about Gen AI. Gen AI, so about a year ago, in the latest uh, 2024 Embedded World, we already showed uh, LLMs running on our next generation accelerator called Halo 10. Uh, and all I can say is expect it to be out in the market before end of this year with many DeepSync, like you said, Llama, Quan, and many, many more other uh, uh, models uh, supported.